<laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, been a while. I don't know where to start. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here. I have had a really, really, really rough few months. I got really caught up in my own head and caught up in my own shit, for lack of a better term, and thought I was the only one who had ever experienced this and I was just such like a screw up and I was just like so dumb. I, know, I was just, I had, um, I got really wrapped up in my own head and that's why I haven't been here because I have been in this really weird headspace where I just haven't wanted to talk and I haven't wanted to um, be honest and I haven't with myself and with you guys and just everyone um, and that's what that's why I haven't been here and I realized that I need to pull myself out of it and one of the things that has helped me do that is YouTube and um, that's why I'm here <laughs> so yeah a little bit I know like my past few videos have been focused on how I've been having a hard time and um, but I don't think I was totally like I don't think I I was so wrapped up in it that I like didn't see it from a different perspective and I've had the opportunity uh, opportunity to do that um, and I think I'm finally getting myself out of it like more than I have been in the past um, it is Thursday I'm on my way to my weigh-in um, I don't know if I'm gonna show my weigh-ins on here I I want to talk about it um, but I have been dealing with a lot of shame um, and guilt and um, yeah mostly just shame I've been dealing with a lot of shame recently around health around eating around just my body around me um, and I'm really working on like letting that go because that's a really crappy thing to feel um, so I don't want to feel that so I'm working on like letting that emotion go and I don't know if showing my actual weight will be something that will increase the shame because I have gained I uh, I have gained uh, my lowest was 20 I got down to 204 and I'm now higher than that um, by about 20 pounds so that's where I am I know because I've said it in the past the only way to change things is to be real and to talk about them so um, yeah I, I just got really like I said I don't know what else there is to say other than I got really wrapped up in my own head and feeling bad about myself and feeling bad for myself which created this just kind of shame spiral that I've been in and it really sucked and, but I'm not out of it yet and um, but the most important thing is that I'm working on it so yeah <laughs> um, I'm really glad to be back though I I got also really in my head about making videos thinking they needed to be because I am for those of you who don't know, I'm in film school, and I edit for, like, I edit freelance as a career, and I got really in my own head about thinking that my YouTube videos needed to be, like, 100%, 100% spot on, perfect, like a movie, because when people look for me online, as far as, like, in terms of video editing, you know, what if they come across my YouTube channel and see that my YouTube videos aren't this cinematic wondrous thing but I also that also prevented me from being on here because I, that's not what YouTube is about for me like sure I love you know cinematography and getting cool shots and editing fun and that kind of stuff but YouTube is more of just like a diary for me and a community for me and a way to talk with people about things I'm dealing with and create a conversation hopefully so I'm letting go of that. This vlog is gonna be this vlog. It's gonna be whatever. The quality is gonna be whatever. It doesn't matter. It just matters that I'm here and I'm enjoying it and I'm having fun and I'm doing what I love. And that really truly is making videos. Like I love it and I have not been giving myself time to do it. So yeah, 
I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, I'm sure there's more, but it's just like, I don't want to sound like a broken record, and I don't want to focus on what I've been, like, I don't want to focus and ruminate on the mindset I've been on and the struggling I've had because, one, I feel like my past few videos, I've talked about it a little bit, but also I feel like while I'm working myself out of it, I don't want to spend time talking about it. So I'm just going to move forward. <laughs> and um, I also want to say that, like, I've, I've gone through this weird back and forth in my head of, like, because the number the number is not everything and the number should not define you and I have gotten in and out of this place of where the number defines how I feel about myself and I'm just choosing to not let that happen um, but at the same time I am focusing on my health and on my weight loss journey and my health journey and weight is part of that but there's also you know being holistic and mental health and you know exercise and the food I'm eating and all of that and all I'm gonna try, I'm gonna include all of that in these vlogs too but the number is part of it so it's like I don't know again I shouldn't have I shouldn't feel like I have to explain you know my view to people um, but I just want to make sure you guys know that like the number isn't everything but it is part of it for me everyone's journey is different um, but I'm also not letting it define me and not letting it define how much I love myself and how I feel about my body because that is not a good, healthy way to think. So, that's it. <laughs> Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was So <laughs> Not I'm not Going to hold on to the shame emotion instead I'm going to be grateful that I have pulled myself and I'm pulling myself out of this because um, yeah just went in I don't know if I'm gonna show it honestly I don't think I'm going to um, just because I feel like I feel like to tell to show myself that the number is not the complete picture I don't want to show that to you guys either and I did gain and I'm pretty much exactly where I thought I was gonna be and that's okay um, and that's what I'm gonna tell myself too <laughs> uh, because I'm doing the work to work out of it um, and that's what matters is that I'm facing it and then I'm being real and honest with myself and I am taking control back and taking power back and not giving it up to food or to these negative emotions that I have been feeling so yeah, I normally have school on Thursdays, but today they're doing like a district-wide training day, so I don't have school. So I'm gonna do a lot of work, um, and I'm gonna do a lot of homework, and I'm gonna chill, and I think I might go to the gym, which I haven't done, <laughs> which I have not done in a while, so I might do that too, and of course I will bring you guys along. Uh, but for now, I am having some water, and I am having a, not the healthiest, by the way. I'm just gonna put that out there. Like, just because I'm getting myself back on track doesn't mean I'm doing 100% better at the moment. It's like, not terrible. What am I saying? I, why do I, I don't need to justify these things. I'm having a Lara bar, which is actually fairly decent for you, um, but not as like a whole meal, just as right now, because I'm hungry and I've got like a 30 minute drive home. So I'm gonna have that. And then, um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. So 
so I just wanted to end out this vlog. Um, I know this is a super quick one, but I also knew if I let the footage sit, um, then I would think about it too much and then convince myself not to upload the vlog. Editing this on Thursday, so this is going up. I'm gonna put it up tonight, um, just because I wanna be back. I don't wanna keep second guessing myself and doubting myself. So, um, I don't know when the next video will be. It will be soon though, because I will keep vlogging and keep documenting as I get myself back on track. Project comeback, is this, is this happening? I'm gonna be doing a juice fast soon just to help detox my body, hopefully help clear up my skin. Um, if you guys have any tips as far as if you guys have dealt with bad acne, I have been really dealing with a lot of bad acne. I don't know exactly what's going on. I have an appointment with a dermatologist, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It is so nice to be back. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget the only way to predict your future is to go out there and create it for yourself. I will see you guys next time.